Okay, this will be a quick lesson on the mallet handle. There is also a video for the mallet head that you can find on the website. For all the drawings we do, it is very handy for you to have this pegboard project folder open. Uh, there's good information in the title blocks, but also the instructions have some pretty good information also. So if you get clear down here to almost the last page after we did the mallet head, it goes on and it talks about the mallet handle. Guys, and this is really a pretty simple part to draw. There's just a couple of new things. It says when we create a part file, we're going to start with a 5 8 inch diameter circle and we're going to make that 8 inches long. Okay, so let's start that together in Inventor. I'm going to create a new standard IPT. And then, like we almost always do, I'm going to make a 2D sketch on the XY plane. Okay. We want to start with a circle. So I got my circle tool. Does anybody remember how big that circle was? Five eighths. And if you don't know how to convert that into a fraction in your head, just type it into a fraction right in there. Five over eight. Hit enter. It did the math for us. I can finish my sketch. And how far was I supposed to extrude that? So I'm going to go extrude. I want this to be eight. And I'm going to click my check mark. I'm going to zoom out so I can see the whole thing. Okay. Now, on our title block, there's a chamfer on each end. And then there are also threads on it. And the instructions here are pretty decent, okay? So we want a .0625 chamfer on each end. So let's start with that. Much easier than it sounds. Up here in the modify bar, the top one is chamfer, okay? So just get onto chamfer and click it. Now, my default pops up as a .125, and that's not what I want. I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to change it to .0625, which is what the instructions told us. Now, if you notice, the button that says Edges is already lit up blue, so that tells me that button has been clicked. If yours is not blue, you may need to click it, okay? But since mine is, then I know I want it on this edge. So I go here and I click. I know I want it on this edge. So I go here and I click. I hit my check mark. And then now you can see you have nice chamfered ends. To put the threads on, again, a pretty simple process. If you go to their instructions, you want a thread on just one end. To match the threads in the mallet head, it says see figure 16. And that's right up here. It's a little hard to decipher. Uh, but we also just did this when we did the mallet head. Okay, So the hole is actually .875 deep. So that's how deep we're going to go with our threads. You could probably also do them 0 0.625 since that's the depth of just the threads. But we'll go with 0.875. So I'm going to go back over to Inventor here. And right up here in Modify, I've got Thread. Everybody finding that okay? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to click Thread. And then there's a few things that I may want to change on here. I don't want the full length of the part to be threaded, so I'm going to uncheck that. How long did I say I wanted those threads to be? Point yes, 0.875 is good, so I'm going to change that to 0.875. Then I'm going to have to go up here and make sure this face button is depressed. So I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to click where I want the threads. See how it previews for me? So if I click there and I click apply, I've got threads. I'm going to click cancel now that I'm done with that. Okay. And my computer lags a little bit, but you can see you've got your threads there. Look pretty good. 
Okay.